Hey folks, Malforn here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing some Civilization VI. Yes, you see that correctly. We are starting a new campaign, and why are we doing this? Well, it's because Firaxis has just announced a set of limited run events, and the first one is called Age of Abundance. This is where every month they're going to set up a custom campaign, and we're all going to be playing as the same nation on the exact same map, with the same starting location, the same amount of gold, and all that good stuff in the game itself. And it's all basically a little competition, see how we can do the best. And I imagine there'll be some kind of leaderboard at the end of the month, potentially. It's just all about having some fun, doing these custom playthroughs, and seeing how well we can do. So that's what we're going to be doing on the channel today. To win, you basically have to do a culture victory as fast as you can as Greece, which is a pretty good nation to play as, because you do get the culture bonus from city-states you are a suzerain of. You also get the Acropolis Unique District, which is culture focused, and uh, that's going to help us obviously get a lot of culture as we carry on playing. But we're just going to get straight into it. We do start in the Renaissance Age. Now, this is one difficulty for everyone. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons I've got to press at the beginning by the looks of it. Um, we also in the Renaissance Age, it is a standard map size. We all play as Prince difficulty. So as I said, it's the same for everyone. So if you're watching this and you haven't played Civilization for a long time, like myself, I've not played it for about two years. And even then, I didn't play it like really hardcore. But um, I saw this challenge and I thought it'd be a cool way to get back into it before Civ 7 gets announced. We all know that's going to happen relatively soon. If you do the same challenge, you will be set up exactly the same as this. You'll have Athens, you'll have Argos, you'll have Mogadishu up here. And then I guess the rest of the world is set up the same. Now, I'm not going to say cheat, but you could watch, obviously, a couple of episodes of this. It would be amazing if you do. Hit that like button, subscribe as well. You'll get a bit of a teaser, I guess, as to where the land masses are, the best places to set up. I'm no Potato McWhiskey. I'm not going to be min-maxing this campaign. I'm just going to be playing it for a bit of fun and just seeing what we get up to. So anyway, with all that being said... Let's get into it. Uh, let's get going with, I guess we want to set up our government first. Um, we're going to go monarchy. It's the first second tier one that we have. So it's obviously worth us picking up. Um, I imagine we're going to be building quite a few settlers. So where is, I'm sure one of these increases settlers. No, maybe I'm wrong. I could have sworn one of these improves uh, settler production, but uh, it does not. So I guess we'll take this one. I guess my men is, no, do you know what? We're not going to have garrison units for a while, so... Uh, let's go for double experience for recon units, maybe. I'm not too sure. We're only playing on a standard map, so I don't think we're going to get too crazy. Now, the other thing is that there's no barbarians at all in this uh, scenario, so you don't need to worry about any barbarian, things like that. Uh, what we will pick up is this one, I think, production towards mi uh, military units. And then, I guess, uh, we don't have any military units to begin with, so there's no point taking this. I don't think we're going to be pillaging anything too soon. Um, I guess... Um, yeah, that's the thing. With this setup, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess there could be another civilization near us. So maybe we'll go for... I mean, what's this? Naval units? Or just increase our strength. Joe, we'll take Bastions first. Just because maybe there's a civilization near us that might come and attack us. And we'll probably need our city... Um, kind of strong at the beginning i guess um and then we can change these obviously the next time we get a government upgrade it's not gonna be too bad oh that's where it is it's e it's an economic policy <laughs> someone was probably shouting that as you watched uh, yeah it's actually there so we'll pick that one up for sure so we're definitely going to be building um some cities we'll probably take this i know urban planning isn't amazing but early game it might do us quite well obviously we are going culture focus so each city receives plus one culture for each specialty district constructs we're probably going to be doing quite a bit of that to begin with. We do get the bonus for being a suzerain of city-states, so I'm going to take this one. And I think I'm going to take... Ooh, great profit points per turn. That's going to help us get a religion. Obviously, we're not going religion-focused, but it's not the worst for us to have this. So I think I'm going to take this... Do you know what? This plus one production, I might get rid of this and pick up uh, this one. Two influence points per turn. This will give us more envoys, which means we'll become suzerain of places earlier. Um, obviously, we don't know how many of them are around us. We can only see Mogadishu for now. But uh, we'll do that for now. We can we can change it, obviously, later on. So, yeah, we've got all these boosts. We have got a trade unit. We have got this uh, builder. I guess we'll just get these. Uh, what are these? Pastures? Yeah, pastures built. Sounds like a good idea. We're just going to do this trade route. Um, obviously, it makes sense just doing this. 
And then I guess we want to get... I mean, we kind of want to get this holy site early, I suppose. Or the Acropolis, get some more culture. But I actually want to get a scout first. One turn. I'm not used to be playing on uh, standard speed. So I, I, I used to play on epic or whatever. Whatever the longest marathon or whatever the longest one was. So I'm used to these taking a long time to build. But um, do we want two scouts? So I'm going to build two scouts because we kind of want to find out the lay of the land see where everything is and uh you know help us plan for the future i think building two at the beginning i'm not sure if it's the best idea but it is what we're going to be doing so uh, we'll cross that when we come to it um what else do we want to build we want to probably well not build what research do we want um want banking get some extra money it gives us another trade route if we build the great zimbabwe i don't think we can build this too easily though must be adjacent to a commercial hub must be adjacent to a cattle do have uh this is cattle isn't it we do have that i don't think it's be worth going for wonders early but it does give us the the banking uh the bank itself and quarry improvements which we will have one here i'm not sure if we're gonna have more than one though uh maybe we'll just go printing forbidden city gives us a wild card policy slot that's pretty good this 62 turns though so i guess yeah, it's probably a bit long isn't it let's go for one of these easy ones. John, let's just go mass production. That's fine. <laughs> let's just do that one. Exploration, that seems like one we'll definitely want to do. Uh, let's get rid of all these uh, notifications. Goodbye. Uh, increase trade route capacity. I think that's just telling us we have the one we have. We do. Uh, next turn. I don't think we've met Mogadishu yet. I know we see it. Yeah, but we, we haven't actually uh, technically met it yet. So I guess we'll head north because we want to get this as soon as we can for that additional... Uh, culture and again i guess we'll just build these um uh, upgrades here yes yeah, so we've got a builder go uh, we've got a builder that we already have um i think we'll just go settler let's just start uh, expanding our realm as quick as we can especially if there's another civilization near us we obviously want to beat them in the race to some good locations and then we'll meet Mogadishu, as i said we'll uh, be doing all right then um, this only has one more build, so I th is this copper? It is, so let's get that. There we go, we met Mogadishu. We've met a city-state, gave us a quest, we don't really care about the quest too much. Uh, we got two because we have that card, and then if we put one more into it, I believe we become a scissor in three or more, yes. Nice, so this gives us additional gold in our capital and every market or lighthouse building. Gives us more for a bank, shipyard, or consulate, which we don't have yet. I don't think it's worth us putting six into here, because we don't have the buildings either for this, and we're already the Suzerain, and we don't want to waste these envoys. We could meet another city-state, like, immediately, and then we've kind of uh, wasted the uh, the envoys. So we'll keep the other ones for now. There's no point rushing into it too much. Uh, yeah, let's get this mine going. Built this uh, builder. I... Do we want to build another settler immediately? I kind of, <laughs> kind of want to, but I get it pauses um, building, doesn't it? Oh no, it only do, it reduces one. Okay, so it carries on growing whilst this is being built. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, it looks like this is the end of the road. Let's head this way. Oh, it's a goody hut right here. Nice. Let's go see what that's got, and then this scout will head south with. Let's see what we've got. Uh, on our southern border. So it looks like this is the end. This look, uh, Well, no, maybe we can head up here. We'll see. We'll see soon enough. Don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, there we go. We've got our first settler going. Uh, let's get this water mill. That's going to give us additional food and production. Yeah, this first uh, settler. Do we want to settle up here? What's this? Settle on stone? Not too sure about that. Can we move you here? Let's see what's in here first. Oh, a builder. Nice. Sweet, so we've got a builder for um, each location then, basically. Well, we've already consumed the other one, but we've got a builder we can move over to Argos. That's going to help us a little bit. Um, I don't know where to move this settler. Joe, I think... I think we'll go... Uh, well, we don't know what's south, so... I guess we should probably just go up here and claim this before... Potentially an AI, an AI civilization does it for us. But yeah, this builder might as well come over here and we can start upgrading Argos so we can get this uh, wheat and some of these other things. 
and then we'll head south with um this scout and we'll see whether there's somewhere good down here for um our next settler to uh, to go to i think it's going to be good to like expand as soon as we can let me know what you think of the comments down below obviously by the time you uh, leave the comment i'll already be far past this point but uh, it'd be interesting to know obviously this is a challenge so if you've got advice for people if you're wanting to kind of get some tips uh, do let me know in the comments down below you know what mistakes have i made as i said i've not played this for quite a while and without the dlc enabled it's also a little bit weird because you've got to kind of like unlearn how you used to play it a little bit which is kind of fun as well um, i imagine if you're a player that's played the game a lot recently it'd be kind of weird to go back but also almost feels like a new game in a way because you're kind of playing by the old rules um under this scenario anyway we got this finished um what else to oh John, let's get this let's get these bananas yeah let's keep exploring down here and yeah that's the end of the world i guess well the end of this uh landmass oh maybe there's somewhere over here let's head this way oh wait we can go on the sea oh we can Do you know what? i forgot about that <laughs> again because we're starting like halfway not halfway through the game but in the renaissance age basically i think um we have some text that i'm not used to starting with so it is a little bit weird that we can do certain things and um you usually can't when you start in the game anyway let's pick up this plantation i guess we'll head no do you know what? let's carry on up here first oh that is the end cool <laughs> well that was a waste but uh, we didn't know that did we so let's just go with it um, Athens has finished. Do I kind of feel like building another settler? I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it, guys. Again, probably not the min-max way of playing, but uh, it is what I'm going to do. So, you know, we'll we'll live with those decisions. Uh, let's build this uh, lumber mill. That's going to help us with production. Yeah, let's head down here. Let's see what's down here. Oh, this looks like tundra. Oh, it is. Okay. So this is the southernmost area of the map. So I guess we're... Yeah. I mean, what are we on? Like a standard map? Can't be much. It must be like... This must be like the halfway point or something. Well, this is rainforest, so I guess this is the halfway point. I'm not used to playing on standard maps either. I'm used to playing on, like, huge maps or whatever, so... Again, a little bit weird. I'm just going to build where it says to build. Knossos. Nice. And I think we'll just build a builder here so we can build these improvements because we've got, what, some iron here. I can't remember. Do we get the stone from this? I guess we don't because we built a city here. No, we do get the stone. Okay, kind of kind of worth it then, in a way. Um, and then we also get this canal as well. Which doesn't really help us because it's obviously right next to the uh, sea anyway. Oh, another goodie hut. Oh, we found a, a great work. The bones of the Magi. The Magi is a relic. What's it give us? Oh, it's in, it's in our palace. It gives us plus four piety and plus eight tourism. Okay. Well, that's nice. I'll take that for free. That's pretty decent. What have we got here? The sheep and some dyes as well. So I think we'll probably place another city like here somewhere. Because this is the, the end of the map. So I don't think we're going to build in Tundra. Obviously, we're not. Uh, I think what Canada and Russia get some bonuses for that. Yeah, this is the, the northernmost. So I guess we'll go into the, uh, the sea and explore elsewhere. And then our settler here. Oh, we can choose a pantheon as well. Fantastic. So yeah, let's come down here. And I, it says to build here. There's no fresh water though, which seems like a bad idea. This seems like a pretty good location because this is a mountain, I guess. It is. This is breathtaking appeal, so that's going to help us. We get wheat. We get a lot of wheat, but not a lot else. Yeah, that's a good point. This iron is here. Oh wait, no. If we build here, we get this iron. We get wheat. We get this fish. We get two more wheat. We get potentially something that's here as well. I think we're going to build here. We get to have found a pantheon though, so let's see what we want to choose. Uh, holy districts give faith. Any culture ones? Ooh, plus one culture from pastures. I think we have some of those, don't we? Is that what this is? I can't remember. Um, doesn't see say but i'm pretty sure that's what it's called let's have a look uh there's the civilopedia here it is always love the civilopedia it's always good for learning things if you haven't played for a while oh yeah placement cattle horses and sheep oh we've got loads of those two cattle horses sheep 
Uh, more cattle. Ca oh, there's cattle here, but Mogadishu's already taken it. But I think our border push could maybe get this. I can't remember, especially without the DLC enabled, if we can push that back ourselves. I can't remember. I know Rise and Fall changed how that worked, I think. Uh, we've got more cattle, uh, more sheep down here. And it's culture focused. And as, as the campaign is all about culture, I think it makes sense to pick that one up. I think, um, yeah, because that's just going to be a bonus forever, whereas a lot of these are limited. Yeah, John, let's do Gods of the Open Sky. Let's do it. Let's found our Pantheon. There we go. Nice. Um, yeah, so we've got another Settler. Do we want to build another Settler? Well, actually, we have another one here. John, now that's probably enough Settlers, isn't it? Uh, do we want to build some military units? We probably do, because we don't know. We could bump into someone, I guess, over here. Or do we want to just get building something else? Like, get this Acropolis going. Can we get an envoy for everyone that we complete? That's pretty good. Uh, no, no, I'm going to build a military unit, just because we don't know what else is around here. Oh, we found another goodie hut by the sounds of it. We did. Let's see what's in there. Um, do we want this, or do we want this mine? Do want, actually, let's get the mine. <laughs> I've changed my mind. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's get this mine going. Plus two production. Yeah, that's better than plus one, isn't it? So, let's do it. What did we get from here? Oh, I clicked out of it. Oh, we got the inspiration. Is that what we got? Siege tactics. <laughs> Obviously, that little goody hut, new siege tactics. It makes perfect sense. Oh, it looks like this is the end of the thing. So, okay. So, I think everyone starts on... Uh, I think this is a continent's um, world. But it looks like we've landed on, like, the only island, right? or just, like, a very small continent. But, um, I mean, I guess, in a way, it's only us. So it looks like we've got this all to ourselves, except for Mogadishu, which we won't get rid of. We could invade this and take it over. But as we get the uh, Suzerain plus 5% bonus, I kind of feel, as we are playing a culture victory, that we want to keep this, because that 5% obviously gets better and better as the game progresses. Um... So that makes sense. Oh, there's more horses here. So yeah, that Pantheon was a good choice. Um, I mean, this is the end of the world, so I guess we might as well go into the ocean and go exploring. Um, we'll use this one to go west. I guess we'll use this one to go north. Let's see if we can find anything up here. So I guess also because we are playing on a standard map size, we kind of want to grab land as soon as we can because the other civilizations are obviously going to be doing the same. We don't really want to get stuck on here, although... I mean, we've got, what, three? Probably, as I said, we'll have another one here. I guess we'll place another one here. We could squeeze another city down here, but I think it'd be pretty terrible because it's tundra. Um, we could, in theory, squeeze one into the middle. We could have three here, I suppose. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll see what the best idea is. I kind of feel like that's it. Where are we building this one? Was it here? Yeah, I think we want to build the other one, like, over here, then somewhere. Yeah, move here, and we'll found this. Uh, Eritrea? Nice. And then this one will go... Now, the game says to build it here. There is horses, but it's somebody else. Oh, no, the horses are right here. Uh, iron and nitre. There is nitre here. Would it reach that? Oh, it would. The iron... I mean, Athens probably wants to get the iron or Argus. Yeah, so we won't we won't get that. Um, I kind of feel like building it further down this coastline because we still get all of this. We still get the crab. We still get the nitre. Yeah, sure. You know I think we're gonna build it here. Yeah, I think there. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Again, probably not the ideal location, but it's where we're gonna do it. Um, yeah, so they got the settler finished. Uh, do we want to build a um, builder? I guess we don't, or a worker, whatever they're called in this one. I always get mixed up with the old civs. Yeah, builder. Because um, we did get that free one, so it's not as desperate to get that. I think we might start building some of these. Um, it looks like we're going to need to go on the oceans a little bit, at least. So maybe we'll build a harbor here. I know it's not an Acropolis. This gives us culture immediately. Maybe we do this. Maybe we just do the Acropolis because we're just getting that culture earlier and earlier. 
Uh, we've got a mine here, so we don't want to waste that. I guess we'll build it here. Yeah, let's get that going. Why not? Uh, we've got the um, uh, Eritrea here. Eritrea? However you pronounce it. <laughs> not Eritrea. That's a, that's a country in Africa, I believe. Um, uh, what did we build? Oh, no, this is... No, did something just finish here, or am I just uh, going crazy? No, we just built it, didn't we? Um, let's go... I think we'll go build it. It's going to be a few turns, but I think it makes sense. And kind of upgrade some stuff. We could build builders in Athens and send them down, but I think we want to start getting our... Um, our uh, specialised regions going in our uh, capital. Oh, it looks like there might be land over here. Um, oh, yeah, these can't cross oceans, can they? Uh, true. I guess we'll go this way. Hopefully there's a way... No, there isn't. <laughs> no, there's ocean there as well. So that's not going to work. Yeah, you're going to stuck it. I guess we can come south and go along the coastline down here. And send an envoy. We're not going to do that. There's no point doing more than three. Because we... The sixth one, we don't have these buildings. So there's no point wasting them, as I said before. But we earned a new one. So I guess that's why it's prompting us to use them. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Um, I guess we'll head east. Oh, it's so... It looks like this is a... Yeah, this is coast. Okay, so there is another um, landmass here. But it's one tile away, so we can't skip that jump there. Uh, yeah, this crossbow moment will fortify. Um, I think we will build a military unit every... Oh, no, we can't do this either. Okay, well, never mind. We're not going to use these scouts, uh, by the looks of it, to expand anywhere else. Or at least not for the time being anyway. Um, yeah, Athens has got that built. I guess we'll build the Acropolis again. Um, let's get this culture going. Although, actually, how's the... Um, uh, this. Uh, towards a religion, it's this, isn't it? You have to build a, a great prophet. We're at 40 out of 240. We kind of want to get this as soon as we can. We are ahead of everyone else. But they are getting points quicker than us. So, do you know what? I, kind of think we should build a holy site so we can get our religion because if we found a religion we can obviously specialize it towards culture and things like that so um yeah sure let's do it let's do it uh plus two that is the best so let's go there i mean having these districts we can obviously couple the other ones around it and get all the kind of adjacency bonuses so it's not the worst i guess uh this has finished the acropolis we could build an amphitheater we can get some more housing. I don't think I don't think we need to worry about housing just yet. No, we're a four out of eight. We've got loads of space. Uh, we won't build a settler because we don't know anywhere else we can settle just yet. I guess we will go. I'm kind of tempted to build a harbor. Gives us another trade capacity, which is useful for us. And it also gives us gold and things like that, but it also means we can um, build things, which means we can build ships faster later on, which is going to be useful for us. Um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, plus two. What's the bonus here? Plus two. Yeah, let's build it here. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're not going to send envoys again. I guess we earned a new envoy and we're not going to use it. Oh, yeah, isn't it like every specialized district we build, we get an envoy? But we're not going to use it, so let's not do that. Uh, yeah, we can't go along the coastline here of uh, Antarctica, basically. Um, so I guess we're kind of just waiting. I suppose... I'm, well, not I suppose. I'm pretty sure we do unlock the ability to um, uh, traverse it, though, don't we? Where are we? We're up here. Is it part of cartography? All naval and bark units... Oh, it is. Okay, so in... Uh, we'll take this next, because then we can go on ocean tiles. So We probably should take that one first, but I guess we didn't know we were going to be stuck like this. So uh, When you are playing this challenge, if you do, there you go. You know you know what to do if you haven't started already. Um, yeah, we got Knossos. I, I forgot we had this already. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, let's go with... I mean, we've got the Holy Site. I don't think we get a good bonus for campus. We won't. There's no hills. Or mountains or anything. Oh, we have got some rainforest. Plus two. Uh, I don't really want to spend gold on on uh, unlocking it though. 
maybe another harbour, because there's obviously quite a lot of uh, ocean tiles around here. And I think the lighthouse gives you plus one food. So, sure, let's do it. Uh, plus one, plus two. Yeah, plus two it is. So, I mean, I guess once we do unlock that, these uh, scouts are actually going to be useful. So, it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's get this. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> did they go that way? I think I dragged it across. The worst. <laughs> I'm the worst. Oh, there we go. The Renaissance era. What can be labeled packaged mass Indeed. Now, we're not going to listen to Sean Bean all the way through. Oh, can we tra traverse around there? I think we can. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I guess we might as well carry on coming around here in case this is an island or something. But uh, otherwise, we're, we're basically just waiting for... Um, uh, cartography. 16 turns. Uh, it's worth doing that. We could have picked up one of the other ones, but I think getting this, as we know we're on this island, well, not island, this continent, um, and we're kind of stuck exploring elsewhere, we do kind of need to find out where everyone else is. Why does it think this is good and this is not good? <laughs> well, not as good. doesn't matter. I'm going to build here anyway. The game isn't the boss of me. I, I can do what I want. Um, yeah, so we'll build this here. Uh, we won't build another harbour. We've got, what, two already? So I don't think we need to do that. Oh, we can't build an Acropolis here? Why not? Uh, has to be built... Oh, on hills? Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Oh, there's a hill here. We could buy this, but you know, I think we just won't build an Acropolis down here. I think we'll build um, maybe a commercial hub or something. Maybe an industrial zone? No, because we... We get more bonuses for, again, mines and quarries. Maybe at a commercial hub. Adjacent river? Okay, we don't have an adjacent river. <laughs> Maybe this was just a bad location to, to build. Um, it's not going to have any production, actually, is it? Until we unlock this. Do you know what? Maybe it wasn't the best. Although it was recommending us this tile, and that's no better. In fact, it has even less because it would have more ocean tiles. So maybe actually a harbour is good because it's going to have so many ocean tiles. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, this isn't worth it. This is kind of good, but I can't remember if the additional buildings help other regions. Maybe just build an encampment and we can build military units in here. It does give us production and gold if we have uh, citizens in it. The holy side gets no bonuses. Uh, sure, let's do this. Let's build an encampment. <laughs> let's do it. Not what I was thinking of building, but let's do it anyway. Can we not build it here? Wait. Why can we not build it elsewhere? Can Oh, cannot be adjacent to your city centre. Oh, okay. Okay, we won't build that then. Do you know I'm just going to build a harbour. I'm going to do it. I didn't really want to, but let's just do it. Let's just see how that goes. Uh, Mogadishu will do some upgrades over here. Pretty nice. Uh, I guess you can sneak through here. I mean, is there any any point? Do you know what? No, let's bring him back over here because once we do unlock cartography, he can be kind of ready to explore as soon as he can. Yeah, go over here. There we go. Unit needs orders. Uh, we're just going to replenish... Well, not replenish, but we're basically just going to redo the same one, I guess. Well, do you know what? It's the same bonus everywhere. So we might as well extend down here, because then don't we get roads? Yeah, we get roads if we do this. So let's go down to... <laughs> to our, ironically, let's go to roads, because then we can build roads to roads by having this trade. Just makes sense. Oh, hello. We did find some land. Okay, it was worth doing that then. Uh, let's go here. I guess we can build a an upgrade here. And then, uh, yeah, after the next turn, we're going to do one more turn, as is tradition with this game. Oh, actually, let's get this fish. And then we're going to be uh, finishing today's episode. I like keeping these campaign episodes about half an hour. Um, so I think it's a good place to stop, unless there's something super interesting here. Look, it got us with that one more turn, didn't it? Sneaky. Um, do you want to build this temple? I kind of want to get some more great profit points per turn, because I don't think this gives us them by default. It doesn't. So let's get a temple. So again, is going to keep us near the top of that uh, great person table. We'll explore this island. Well, we'll see what's here. Oh, it's a very tiny island. So 
um yeah we'll leave it there for today so hopefully you've enjoyed this guys uh, something a little bit different as i said i've not played civilization um on the channel for a long time um so i kind of thought it'd be fun do these challenges there's one a month so i imagine they'll be themed differently so this is obviously a culture one potentially the next one will be a warfare you know world co uh, world domination or you know a space race one or something like that and uh, kind of interesting doing these once a month and seeing how they play out i'm going to do this one as a full campaign the next one i might do as a series of live streams so again if you've enjoyed today's video hit that like button subscribe if you're new here i play grand strategy historical titles on the channel and i cover dev diaries news all that good stuff discussion videos so yeah subscribe it's free to do so it helps me more than you probably realize but we'll leave it there for today i'll see you the next one